Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube contents. I'm Sam Kim. In this video, I'm going to show you how to estimate parameters for Wyvern survival analysis by maximum likelihood method in XLNR. Let me use sorted ovarian data for this video. If your time is time variable and if your step uh, measures censoring status, so one indicates event and zero means it is censored. Right, there are some R uh, programs for uh, Wyvern analysis. So I have found four ways. So from Wyvern tools, uh, if you convert data to uh, reliability data, then you can use ML estimate function. Again, you can get mu or mu and sigma, and also eta and beta, right? The second way is to use a reg function, then you can get uh, intercept and scale. Right, so as you can see, intercepts is actually means mu and scale is same as sigma. The third way is to use flexor library, and if you use flexor function, then you can get uh, shape and scale. Right, and in EHA library, uh, there are two ways you can use uh, AFT reg, accelerated failure time uh, regression function, and vibe reg function. Mm, there could be some uh, difference, but uh, mostly AFREG and YREG uh, provide the same output, similar output. So log scale means scale in FlexServe. And log shape uh, is almost the same, and this is al uh, also uh, similar to uh, shape. Okay. As you can see, so uh, there is a relationship between mu and eta and sigma and beta. So if you take, uh, let's say, log of eta, then you can get view, right? Estimated view. And from beta, uh, you can get, if you uh, consider 1 over beta, Right? You can have a uh, sigma. Okay. And if you take exponential of negative 0 0.1026105, then also you can have this value the same as sigma. I hope uh, it was useful to understand the relationship between mu, mu and sigma and eta and theta, right? And from FlexServe and EHA uh, library, you can have shape uh, value, then you can convert it to sigma. Right, uh, in Excel, uh, I would like to show you two ways to estimate uh, parameters for Wyvern survival analysis. The first way is to use this uh, log likelihood formula. There's one reference site I have used for this video, right? And one thing you need to be careful is about uh, sigma and mu. Sigma is equal to one over alpha, and mu is equal to negative log over lambda. So let's calculate this part first. And this uh, column D means this part. So column C, if you step times log of, if you time, then t uh, to the power of alpha, t over, and let me let's use uh, sigma and mu. This one, so one over sigma. So let's say sigma at, uh, value as 1. Okay. Uh, in terms of view, uh, uh, in Excel, you need to uh, be careful about setting uh, initial mu value. Uh, so let's get average of time. Then log of time. 
is around 6.39 so let's say uh, let's say initial value uh, for mu as 6 okay and t is sum of uh, delta i this one oh, sorry this one column b okay then uh, the last thing you need to do is to uh, calculate log likelihood by using this formula so d times log of alpha alpha e uh, equals one over sigma and plus d times one over sigma times log uh, of lambda so exponential of uh, negative mu and plus um, 1 over sigma minus 1 and times sum of column C and minus uh, lambda as exponential of minus mu and to the power of alpha 1 over sigma and times sum of the last term Okay. Then we can use a uh, server. So we want to maximize some of uh, log likelihood and by changing mu and sigma. And uncheck this box and click serve. All right. As you can see, uh, if we use uh, log likelihood, this uh, formula then we can get mu and sigma okay all right uh, there is another reference site i have used for this one, this video so as you can see the corresponding log likelihood can be defined by this formula so we can use we can think of a uh, wider uh, uh, probability distribution and survival uh, function right so this part log of ft uh, viber dot this uh, sorry let's set uh, shape uh, let's initialize value for shape and scale as one and scale this part so again in excel it's um, important to set a right initial value so let's the average of this value is around 600 so let's say 600 okay <clears throat> then log of viber dot dist and time variable comma and alpha comma and beta comma first because it is pdf and log of uh, survival function survival function is actually reliability function so same as 1 minus uh, rival dist and time variable comma shape comma uh, scale comma true because it is cdf Then if we consider these parts, we can convert it in extra formula. If event has happened, then we can use log of ft. If not, 
let's get a log of st then we want to maximize this log likelihood sum of log likelihood okay then click server okay changing variable value here okay then click serve all right as you can see we were able to get uh, alpha and beta means uh, shape and scale this part so in r uh, actually it provides mu and sigma again let me show you how to convert it so mu is log of scale and sigma is actually one over shape all right Right, uh, in this video, again, in summary, I show you how to estimate parameters by maximum likelihood method in R by using Wyvern tools or Survivor or FlexServe or EHA library. In Excel, there are two ways uh, we can uh, use this uh, log likelihood formula. Then you can uh, estimate mu and sigma. If you use uh, PDF and CDF for survival function, then you can get you can estimate shape and scale, and of course you can convert it to uh, sigma and mu. Right. I hope it was useful to uh, understand how to estimate parameters for uh, parametric survival analysis based on wide distribution in Excel and R. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.